everybody and welcome to the Daily Scopes, 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 Scopes for the 17th of June. So today Venus makes a square to Neptune, Mercury makes a square to Neptune as well and Mercury also makes a conjunction to Venus as well. So um, Venus is in Gemini and Neptune's in Pisces, Mercury's in Gemini too and Venus is in Gemini too and all of these energies are going to last up until about the 18th, 19th of May. So Venus is square to Neptune, aids us with our creativity being more imaginative this week. It can inspire deep romantic connections, increase our empathy um, towards ourselves and others. So, you know, we can have like passionate date nights, um, deep conversations and just be creative in, with our partners, our friends or with ourselves as well. But negatively, um, it can cloud our judgment in love and financial matters. We can over idealise people and be unrealistic in our expectations, doing too much, expecting too much from others, or wearing ourselves thin, or escaping into drugs and alcohol and other toxic behaviours, you know, ignoring um, the red flags because we're wearing those coloured <laughs> coloured glasses, you know. And you know, with this energy, Neptune energy can just want us to escape and it's good. It, you know, the best use is to chill out, practice compassion towards yourself and others, um, channel this dreamy energy into creative projects and just help out sort of like gestures for loved ones and stuff like that as well. Also Mercury square to Neptune so this allows us to be more intuitive in our communication in our thinking can give us kind of like scientific technical logical spiritual insights encourages us to think outside of the box and explore unconventional ideas and ways of communicating so just imagine you've been in an argument with a lover or friend right now family member and you've been you know keep on butting heads or keep on going around in circles if you think of a different way to go about the communication this energy can help you solve it but negatively it does bring miscommunication confusion and deception as well it adds to the sort of like mental fogginess of the day that can lead to us ignoring red flags and um, facts can get distorted and messages can become muddled so just make sure that you watch out for misunderstandings gossip or misinterpretations of what you think someone means by what they say or what you see make sure you do your research don't blindly believe anything over the next couple of days but you should never do that anyway but yeah except for it's a you know higher power or something um you know that you're believing in but yeah um the best use of this energy is to use it for journaling meditation reflective thinking staying open to intuitive um you know nudges and synchronicities that you may get from people or tv shows or whatever trust your gut instincts and when making decisions and solving problems and approach conversations with more clarity and honesty to avoid misunderstandings mercury's conjunction to venus um sort of like promotes harmless interactions between people and creating warmth from diplomacy within ourselves and others it allows us to express a and through words and gestures um, it sort of can be like a nice gentle breeze especially with the square with Mercury and uh, Neptune and uh, Venus is square to Neptune as well but this nice Mercury conjunct Venus aspect just allows us to chill out a bit you know but negatively it can make us people please and sugarcoat things and glossing over issues just so we can keep the peace and some Sometimes it's best, not best, but sometimes it's okay to do that, but not if it comes at the expense of your psychological, emotional and physical and spiritual health over and over again. It can also make us avoid conflict, as I said, and uncomfortable discussions and just escape and just wanting to, you know, be superficial and, you know, ignore the depth in relationships because we just can't deal with the intense and deep. And of course, sometimes, you know, we have to have fun and stuff. For someone who is like more of an intense side of life, it's good to chill out, you know, game, jump on the trampoline, go for a run, hug some cheese, walk in some grass, ground yourself, you know, 
no, chill out a bit. But don't make people take advantage of you, yeah? So the best use of this energy is to have heart, to heart conversations, express love and appreciation openly, and to try and build mutual respect and understanding in your connections. So content creators can talk about how we can bring more love and creativity and spirituality into our life, talking about romantic ideals, the you know the positives and negatives of being idealistic and open to love how to be open to love without being a fool because we can be open to the goodness of life without you know being a fool when someone says who they are believe them it, you know even if you can see the potential even if you see them act differently with other people but if they treat you wrong the longer you stay there the more you it will take a decline on your emotional health psychological health and um, spiritual health physical health and finances and stuff so you always read the writing on the wall so giving tips on how we can do that giving tips on how we can sort of like pay attention to our dreams and keep dream journals talking about our addictions with drug and alcohol and other habits and what is addiction and what is addictive behaviors because i believe all humans are addicted to one thing or another talking about how we can search for more deeper connections with others and typically i found it's by creating a deeper relationship with yourself at first talking about how we can get more in touch with our empathetic side intuitive side and talking about the power of words and how they can lead to confusion and misunderstandings and how we can choose our words you know and be more active in our listening how we can assert our boundaries and how we can find clarity in confusion you know and typically it's by taking people on their actions not their words because words can confuse us nine time out of ten they can be faked and false but actions are a lot harder not saying actions can't be faked but they're a lot harder they take a lot more effort to so people typically don't do that what they normally do is treat you bad with actions and you know treat you good with words so you know once you figure that pattern then you have to make the decision to stay or not go but staying sometimes can be so detrimental to every area of your life and not only that children friends family and everything as well so talking about how we can ground ourselves and you know in our feelings how we can express our feelings with more clarity and just how we can be more loving towards ourselves as well so yeah that was the daily scope 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 for the 17th of june